Hey guys, it's me, it's Queen on Set Haru, and thank you for joining me for another wonderful edition of Ask an Aquarius. If you haven't already, please hit the red subscribe button and smack the bell. All right, guys, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and pass it on to somebody else who might like it too. And if you have time, please drop us a positive comment in the comment section. Now, on January 9th, I have to go on vacation. I'm going to be going for about five days or so. So if you want to give me a donation, this is a really good time. <laughs> this is a really good time because I got to pay for everything. So I'm um, going to Colombia. I have a tendency to go to Colombia. And uh, everybody knows that, you know, while you're going through like immigration and going from one country to the next, you can only stay in one country for a certain amount of time. So every so often I go on a trip, like every 90 days or so, to renew my visa. It's mandatory. So I have to go to Columbia again for a couple of days. So again, my PayPal is underneath this video. If you want to be so kind as to donate anything, $5, $20, whatever, <laughs> to the vacation fund. So thank you. And for those of you who have sent me gifts already, um, people sent me some of the nicest Christmas presents or even just Christmas wishes. Um, you know, some people sent me Amazon gift cards. I want to thank you guys because one of the things about being single <laughs> is that you don't get gifts. <laughs> so when good people online send you even little messages and notes, you know, it's very much appreciated because I am indeed the hermit. All I do is work. So that love and that energy, that positive energy you give me is not <laughs> taken for granted at all. It's much appreciated. Thank you so much. And for those of you who just watch, who give the, your channel some love, give me a thumbs up, those kind of things, it's all appreciated. It's all positive energy. I will take any positive energy that I can get. So um, today we're going to talk about something that I thought was rather interesting. We got a letter, okay? We got a letter from this young lady. I think she dropped it in the comments section. And it's really short, so I'm going to read it to you, and then I'm going to answer her question about Aquarius. She said, Queen, I have a question. Do Aquarians like the idea of being in love, but realize when someone is in love with them, they want to break it off? I like this question because I hear it a lot. So I thought it would be really good for us to talk about this today. Because a lot of people think that Aquarius, you know, you know, are in love with love kind of idea. And there is some truth to this, but there is some untruth to it as well. So let's start with the first part. First of all, Aquarius, many of us, not all of us, do like the idea of being in love. Many of us are traditional as far as love is concerned. Many of us are the cliche types, you know. We like uh, flowers and candy and poetry and things along those lines, especially those of us who were born in like the third decan. Oh God, the third decan for Aquarius is the end of Aquarius. So it starts at like, I, I don't remember the date, but it's somewhere like the end of Aquarius. I'm a third decan, I'm a February 13th baby. So I'm in the third decan. So many of us are very into that traditional corny cliche kind of love, you know? So we do love the idea of being in love. And then the ones who aren't, because there are some Aquarius who aren't like that at all. And the ones who aren't like that, a lot of them are still open to the concept at the very least, at least until they get hurt, that is. In the beginning, a lot of them are open to the concept. So the thing about Aquarius being in love with love, I think is that a lot of Aquarius who are open to it are idealistic. This is where we run into trouble. So we're open to the idea of love. We're open to this cliche idea. When I think about being in love, I think about all the good parts. <laughs> and many of us do this. Many of us, you know, like I said, idealistic. We're thinking about the trips and the jewelry and the fun times and the holding hands and the supporting each other and the making love. And, you know, we're thinking about those, the laughing together. We're thinking about those times. We're not thinking about the times that are going to be not so good, 
you know? So there's that idealistic nature. So I think that a lot of Aquarius who are open to love, the reason why many of them shy away after they actually receive it or after they actually are in it is because number one, either it's not their ideal, which wasn't realistic in many cases in the first place, or number two, they can't handle it once they have it. They're open to a commitment, they're open to doing it, but they can't handle what it takes. Because remember, if you have an Aquarius, like I, I'm gonna speak for myself when I was a young girl, if you have an Aquarius who thinks like, okay, has that idealistic kind of thought process, when things don't look like the ideal, we don't want it no more. <laughs> no, that's not the ideal. You cheated. Ugh. You touched another person with your body. Ugh. When something happens that is not part of the ideal, or you lied to me, stuff like that will turn us right off. So we've open to falling in love and we fell in love with this beautiful person. And then by the time that honeymoon period is over, we have found the reason to let it go <laughs> because it's not going to ever be that ideal. So you have that group of people. And then you have the other group of people who find it and can't deal with it because mind you, they've never really committed to anybody. It's always been a theory. It's always been, you know, out there. It's never been something that they actually did. So this type of Aquarius, they'll get with somebody and now they can't handle it. They can't handle the intensity of the emotions. They can't handle the day-to-day -day shit, <laughs> you know, that happens when you're in a long-term committed relationship. They can't handle the ugly. They can't handle the times when that person is on their last nerve, you know? They can do really great with the good parts, but those other parts, a lot of us will fall short. So at that time, now the Aquarius wants out the relationship. The Aquarius is like, I ain't got to do this. I can go back to being by myself. <laughs> okay. And that's right what the hell we do. Just like my favorite song by White Snake, Here I Go Again. Now the Aquarius got our bag over our arm and we down the road on our own. And like I said, some of the times this is the reason why. So... When you ask the question, is the Aquarius in love with the idea of being in love? I would say many of us actually are. I would say that's a very fair assessment. But I don't think that we consciously be like, oh, this person's in love with me. Let me break her heart. Let me break this off. Let me break his heart. Let me break this off. I don't think it's that conscious type of malicious nature for most of us. Now, if you're dealing with a low vibrational Aquarius, you get what you get because they deal with people differently than the rest of us. They don't, they have more of a selfish nature. They do whatever pleases them. So in that particular case, they're not really looking to fall in love. They're just looking to exploit another person. And any type of, you know, in love you might think is there is probably codependency. So you have to really break down what you're dealing with. And if you're dealing with a low vibrational Aquarius, you're not dealing with in love. You're dealing with codependency. But if you're dealing with a higher vibrational Aquarius, you might still run across them um, run, dealing with their ideals, <laughs> running into their ideals, um, getting caught up <laughs> with their ideals, you know? And that is what happens a lot of the time. I know I can speak for myself when I say that I have been in situations with a person that I was seeing and I wanted them before I got with them. I wanted them so bad. You know, I really wanted to be with this person. I really thought this was a good match. I really liked them a lot. And I was like, you know, really into this individual. And then I got with them and I was disenchanted, like quick, like mm -mm, this isn't what I wanted. And a lot of that had to do with the fact that it, again, wasn't my ideal. Um, I was expecting situations to work out that really couldn't have worked out in some cases, you know? So there's a lot of that going on in these situations. So it's not that, like I said, in most cases that it's malicious. It's just that the Aquarius is 
so far into that ideal of what they think this romance is going to be like. You know, for me, romance is um, Titanic in the notebook, <laughs> you know, um, my old love songs from the 80s. I love an old love song, child. Wonderful Tonight. Oh, my God. Like, I love that song by Eric Clapton. Um, Lady in Red. Like, to me, those songs, oh, my God. They like, that's all I listen to. I very rarely listen to contemporary music because it doesn't have that same soul to me, you know? And to me, that's in love. But guess what? That don't last. Anybody who's in a long-term relationship will tell you that feelings change. Sometimes they're strong and crazy in the beginning and intense. Then they calm down. Depends on how long you're with the person. Feelings go through different changes. And Aquarius don't always do well through the changes. So what I've come to find is that many Aquarius have to get realistic about what relationships are. And therein lies the issue. Not so much a malicious need to hurt people and break away from them, but just not really because they've never done it. They've never committed, not really understanding what commitment is. It took me to step out of commitments or lack thereof and really study people who were really doing it, people who were really making it. Like, how do they make this work? You know, and that's how I started to understand the communication and the forgiveness and the compassion that goes between two people who are together. But as a young Aquarius, I really didn't get that. So I hope that answers your question. All right, guys, it's time for me to get going. So if you would like to have a reading done, please email me and I'll hook you up with an appointment. And all my other information, my social media information, my Patreon information, everything, my PayPal, everything will be underneath this video. Okay, guys? And the new year is almost upon us, so it's time for us to get ready. The decade is almost over. So let me know in the comment section, what are you doing to get ready for the new year? See you later.